Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos channel and in today's video we are going to learn how to edit sprite frames for your sprites in Game Maker Studio 2. In previous video we have made the sprite placeholder, put or imported some images in it and uh, changed those images with edit image uh, uh, application in Game Maker Studio, but all of those images were single they were static they don't, uh, didn't have any kind of animation and as as i said they are static as you can see here current frame is one from one so there is only one image of this uh, bottle for my um, game object for my item so for example if i want my object uh, to change this liquid uh, into some kind of other liquid or anime uh, animated and something like that uh, so far I, I couldn't do it, but uh, again it's very very easy to do it in Game Maker Studio 2 um, in uh, its um, software for editing, so all you have to do is again go to edit image and uh, now because I want to change this uh, image of blue liquid into for example into green acid, I would have first to uh, select this frame uh, the uh, sprite the image is called sprite in game development and when the image is animated when the sprite is animated it is uh, used the term it has more than one frame so when the image is animated it has frames uh, it can have as many frames as you want so uh, again that's animation that's another topic but uh, for now we know that this image has one frame and we want to make it animate so we want to add frames you have to select it here and click add frame and it will make a blank one so I can now select that blank one and change uh, here um, and draw whatever I want I don't want that I want to copy this one and then right click paste it so I have the same and I can delete this one, just click on the X in the top right corner, so delete the selected frames, OK, and now I have the same um, image, so again I have, a, first you have to left click it to select it, then right click it, copy, and then click on this empty space, paste, so again you can copy as much as you want, I will now click on a green um, color then on the paint fill tool and I will change this blue to green and um, that was for the second frame and the third one was uh, for example it can be red <coughs> so uh, I have blue green and red and um, uh, this sprite this uh, sprite image is now animated it has three frames blue green red uh, images and uh, they are all uh, here uh, as you can see because we have made three frames now you can see current frame one from three if i have if i play this animation it goes very very fast it's almost unusable i'm not going to explain that today but uh, uh, what is important that this is how you add frames that's what we were supposed to learn today so we have added um, uh, three frames and that's it we are going to learn how to uh, make more complex animations and how to control animations later with coding uh, that's another topic and uh, you can for example try to make uh, uh, yeah, I can show that also. Let's try to make create uh, a new sprite and let's uh, edit image and let's make for example a white square. So I'm going to make it like this and then add empty frame, then select it, add another white square, add frame and so on. So you can for example try to uh, uh, draw numbers like 1 on first frame, 2 on second, 3 on 
third and so on so you can make like for example i don't know 10 or so frames and uh, just to uh, practice a little bit uh, just as an example and practice so you can uh, uh, learn it by doing it okay that's it for this video again five minutes not bad uh, so we have learned how to make a sprite with more than one frame and that will be used e uh, either for animation or either for some kind of co uh, complex uh, games where you can uh, control by code which sprite you will use uh, from your uh, sprite frames so for example you can have a instead of numbers one two and three i could have a here number one uh, player standing number two player is uh, hurt number three player is dead and i can uh, control by code these sprites these frames so when uh, uh, my enemy or my player is hit by enemy uh, change the sprite to sprite uh, frame 2 and when it's dead change the sprite to sprite frame 3 and that's it uh, that's uh, what we are going to learn in um, more complex tutorials that's it for uh, today bye for now